Does a Pimax 8K work with a GTX 1050 Ti? This is the question and this is what the video is about now. So, this is a low-end graphics card and this is a high-end VR headset. <laughs> we will see. So, what will you see? Um, I will first show you um, a compilation of some games I tried with the 1050 Ti, the Pimax 8K. Of course, I activated Brain Bob with the newest Pi tool and I put the Hertz to 62. So, Brain Bob only needs like a 30, 30 frames to work. And you will see, during the gameplays, you will see FPS VR. So, you see the actual frames per second. And also, if Brain Bob is activated or deactivated, I will show this live in the videos. You will see that. It's not commented, but we will talk later about this when you saw the gameplays. My name is Voodoo and you find gameplays, hardware tests, news and events on my channel. So subscribe and don't miss anything. Now let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo.de
Okay guys, what do you say? This is very unexpected because many people, including me, uh, thought that this is not possible. I thought it is not possible to play on a 1050 Ti with the Pimax 8K. But as you've seen, this is possible with most games. So this is uh, my, my setup that, that I've used. Of course, now I have the 2080 Ti for recording videos because you don't want to see any bad video. Uh, <laughs> so this was my setup that I used. 1050 Ti and 9900K CPU. I didn't change the CPU because I don't have another CPU. <laughs> and let's check out the settings now. What did I use? So this is the Pi tool. The Pimax 8K is uh, inside here. And we have the newest Pi tool, uh, version uh, one. 09 and let's check out the HMD settings. I put brightness on low, rendering quality is on 1 and this is the most important settings of course. Um, turn on smart smoothing. You need that for, for playing with the 1050 Ti otherwise you have no chance. And you need maximum normal feed of you and you have to set the refresh rate on 64 Hertz. So why is that? So when you set the 64 Hertz, you only need 32 frames per second because um, he fakes every second image to get on the refresh rate of 64. So you need always 32, minimum 32 frames per second to activate Brain Warp. And as you saw in the last video for Elite Dangerous, this is not possible. I set the... Um, in-game settings in every game is on low, of course, and with Elite Dangerous I said to VR low settings and it still didn't work. It was always under 32 uh, frames per second, so uh, no chance, but I will tell you later um, how it perhaps could work. So this is the Steam VR settings. I put it on 30%. This is a resolution of 2428 by 2130. Eight. So this is what I used. I could even go lower to 20, but then it looks very bad. So I recommend to choose at least 30% uh, for that. So it is still playable uh, from, from the quality. Um, so the onward was not a problem. Beat Saber was not a problem. Elite Dangerous was a problem. And what really was a uh, contractors. So contractors, um, it runs very good uh, on the lowest in-game settings. It was really good playable. I had always over 60 frames even. So I, you could even um, higher, set higher settings in contractors and still be able to play um, with a 1050 Ti very, very good. So I would say the most games are playable with a 1050 Ti. Of course, it's not the same experience than with a 2080 Ti. This is, you can compare that. You have to lower the in-game settings. It doesn't look as good as with the 2080 Ti, but it's playable and it's good playable. So, if you really want to play like games like Elite Dangerous with a 1050 Ti, you can go on Field of view small, okay, and then put this to 20%. Then you have a good chance to reach the 32 frames per second, but it doesn't not it does not look very good. And also the small field of view is the then you killed the whole advantage of the Pimax headset because the biggest advantage is of course the, the bigger field of view. So I would not, you can do it, but I would not recommend. I would put this on normal and this year at least on 30% to have a 
good experience. Not the best one, but a good and playable experience with the Pimax 8K and the 1050Ti. <laughs> so um, you would ask me perhaps, is it good on 64 Hertz? Because you know, I told you uh, some time ago that I don't like the Oculus Go Hertz from 60. Um, so if you look at white images like, like this, this screen here, it's flickering and it's, uh, it's a little bit bad for the eyes in, in my case, but uh, with the Pimax on 64, I did not notice this disadvantage, to be honest. It was very good. I didn't notice some flickering stuff, even on, on bright uh, areas. And uh, this is good. This is really good. So the, the Brain Warp does work very, very good, I can tell you. you. You see this one here, the smart smoothing is inactive, of course, because I didn't start any game. And during the gameplays you just saw, it was sometimes active and inactive. At Elite Dangerous, it was the whole time inactive because I was always under 32 frames. So guys, I hope this was uh, good information for you because some, one, some guys wanted me to try this. I bought this graphics card here that's used and it was like uh, 60 bucks, 60 bucks used and it's a 1050 Ti uh, low profile, uh, not, not low profile, um, uh, the short version, the short version. So it has uh, like a display port, HDMI and uh, uh, DVI. So it works guys, you can believe me that works. If you want to try it yourself, you can do that. Of course, it will also work with the Pimax 5K+. Plus. I don't need to show uh, this now because it's, it's the same stuff. You can do that, no problem. And yeah, that's it, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support me, you can do this via Patreon from one buck per month. That would be really awesome. So thanks for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo the